Now, people sometimes say to me, why would you do this degree? And my answer really is, why wouldn't you do this degree? This degree can lead to almost anything, and we're seeing some very exciting examples of what students are able to do on this program. We have people who want to be lawyers, who want to be engineering consultants, who want to work in media, who want to work in NGOs, and they're all getting internships, uh, even in their second year, in these kinds of areas. So it's a very exciting way to combine studies together in a new interdisciplinary matrix and really make uh, a contemporary degree which suits and interests you. The course is structured into uh, four sections, uh, four pathways we call them. They are cultures, which is broadly the humanities, societies, which is broadly social sciences, health and environment, which is health and life sciences, and sciences and engineering, which is what we call the hard sciences and computer science. Students take a major in one and a minor in the other. If they major in a science, they must minor in a non-science and vice versa. And then we have a core of the degree, which are interdisciplinary courses and research-based courses, which we've designed to try to help you link those subjects together. You also study a foreign language on this degree, and those things put together uh, give what we think is a very important property of a rounded graduate who's able to go on and do research in many different areas or able to join the workforce if that's what you'd like. So part of the learning for this degree is that we're looking very closely at the way the world of knowledge and research is changing. This, the most obvious reason for that is the World Wide Web, but there are also things like, like globalization and, and the mixing of cultures that's going on. So you will have a very, very wide range of assessments and ways in which you will learn. Um, I'm happy that on this course we pioneered largely the flipping of lectures, the idea that you get the content before uh, by video so that you're then able in the sessions to talk more about the stuff you're doing or, or do problems. We also have a lot of um, project work that students do, podcasts, vodcasts, blogs. So there's a tremendous variety of learning and, and, uh, and teaching which you'll get on this program. Students who really thrive on this course, and we have many who really do, are really interested in learning. You've got to be someone who wants to come to university to learn and create your own course. So two properties we think you need as a person on this program are to be very proactive about your learning, seek out the knowledge you want and put it together, and to be quite, quite creative with your learning. I don't mean that you have to be a writer or a musician or some kind of creative, but think about how you want to structure your own knowledge. Don't wait for the teachers and the lecturers just to tell you this is the way things are, learn this for the exam. This course won't suit that type of student. So if you're someone who needs very, very clear structure and direction, I would stay away from this course. But if you want to put together your own curriculum in, we think, a very contemporary way, and you're confident enough to go out and learn what you need to, when you need to, then this course will suit you.